Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming my thoughts on One Book July. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So I did, this is the second year that I do One Book July. And for this year, I chose to do it in a B6 Stylogy. So this is my vendor spec um, B6 Codex in a uh, lavender ostrich and um, TM anthracite on the inside and I chose the B6 Stylogy to have everything in one book so if you're interested you can I'll link down below the video I did for my setup and I was explaining in that video that I won't be using only one planner for July because uh, I need to have a work planner that is separate and my work planner is an A5 uh, Elia note notebook and I use the bullet journal system for my work planner and I need to keep everything in a separate planner so I use this as my personal and home planner before that I was using two Hobonichi weeks so I combined everything in uh, this B6 allergy for the month of July so I'll give you like a quick quick flip through so this is like the first pages and then I have monthlies so what I usually do is I set up my um, bullet journal I need to have 12 months so that I can plan ahead so I would have these are freebies from paper trail design and uh, I would stick all 12 months at the beginning and then for July this was my setup so I did a no spend tracker I had my gratitude here and then I really love the Hobonichi weeks layout so I wanted to incorporate that into my bullet journal system for me it is essential to have a weekly um, layout in my bullet journal so I thought that I would combine both because for now I have uh, two Hobonichi weeks uh, let me go get them so the system that I was using for my personal on-the-go planner home planner was uh, this Gelio Slima Punto with two Hobonichi weeks and this one is my health and wellness journal and this one is my personal on-the-go everyday planning so instead of having two books then i wanted to combine everything into one page so i had my schedule here for the week and then my workouts and my to-do lists uh, for the weeks so i did plan like all the weeks ahead because i need that like i do not like to do like my weekly layout every week so at least i have everything for the whole month and then here was a little challenge that um, I did for the month of July and then I went straight into my dailies so sometimes I would use just um, one page per day and then sometimes a bit less so what I did is I would track like my meals that what I would do in my wellness planner and then I did a bit of journaling as well so here are the weeks usually you should use only one pen now I love to try out new inks so I couldn't keep uh, myself to one pen only but I must say that this color this is the Sailor uh, Manual Acabe and it's been my favorite color for uh, this month of July so you see here sometimes when I have less days then I would just use I have three days here on like one page and um, yeah so this is uh, my want book July so I would say that uh, so let me start with the things that I enjoyed I really enjoyed having uh, everything in one place so like I said I used two different weeks and I knew from the start that I wouldn't like having two separate books but uh, I mentioned it in my uh, planner lined up that I really liked both covers so I was like okay I'll get 
both and then use them for like wellness and personal but then I, I like to have everything in one book so that's one of the first thing that I loved using my B6 Dialogy for um, for that the second thing that I loved was incorporating like the the Hobonichi weeks layout the weekly weeks here that was nice uh, because in order for me to function properly I absolutely need like my monthly calendar for like pre-planning and then the weeklies to have an overview of what's going on in the week and then a daily I cannot just uh, do a daily layout that wouldn't be um, enough for me so I like that I liked uh, the B6 size for me it's one of the best sites for having enough space to plan but as well um, giving you uh, it's it's portable enough for you to carry like uh, in your bag it's not as big as an A5 for example this is my Julio A5 Apunto so it's much smaller than the A5 yet it's here uh, for example I have an A6 this is an A6 so of course the A6 would be better for you to carry on the go but for me it's just not enough space so I liked the size B6 if you're looking for something in between a6 like if a6 is too small for you and then but uh, a5 is too bulky for you to carry around I really highly recommend uh, the b6 size so one thing though and I've been trying that since the beginning of the year was to have everything uh, combining planning and journaling so where I have my post-its here is uh, where I journaled and I do not like that so I know that I'm going to stop for now and then go back to I have a b6 another b6 for journaling and I would just use that for journaling I like to keep it separate um, for example like I do not want this laying around and then people seeing like what I journal about so yeah I know that I won't I, I did that I challenged myself to do it for one book July I know I did it in the beginning of the year as well but I know that I'm not going to continue with that for me planning and journaling are two separate things that need uh, two separate notebooks so uh, yeah there you have it I will be I think going back to my two weeks because I do not like to waste planners even though this is not my ideal system I have them I spent my money so I want to continue to use them until the end of the year so I will be going back with this as well I think that nothing beats um, the slim Apunto size for uh, portability so I'll be using this going back to this in August and then using continuing with my B6 but just uh, for journaling or as a brain dump uh, I don't know but I won't be uh, using this for just my personal and um, everyday carry for now so um, because I have this if I, I hadn't have if I hadn't gotten those two weeks I would continue using this perfectly fine I mean I love the bullet journal system but since I have these two weeks and they are dated so it's not like I'm like the Stylogy is a blank notebook so I can just keep it and pick it up whenever I want these two are dated so I do not want them to go to waste so I will finish up the year with this and then uh, next year we'll see but I know I like to have everything in one book it's just like I said I do not want this to go to waste so there you have it those are my thoughts on one book july let me know uh, how your one book july went what did you like what did you didn't like and uh, are you going to be continuing with one book only for the rest of the year so let me know in the comments i'll be very interested to read uh, what you're doing and if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll be happy to answer them so see you in my next video and take care bye guys